recording, bro. Nice. Hey guys, welcome back to Convos in the Attic. Short conversations among friends about the simplest of things, backed up by the deepest of thoughts, all done from our own attics. And we are your hosts. I am Mar. Malbert. Dom. Miguel. Jesus, after, after five months, four months of quarantine, four months. Jeez, it's been happening, yep. bro. Still fucking happening. Parang yung yung last natin was sa bahay pa ni Fons, the one with said myself and Fons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yung last, de ba? Yung yep. last. Yes. Was that when you had the guest? No, 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 no. Kami tatlo lang yun. Well, yeah, bro. We gotta get back at it. Episode twenty-four. So, Ito na ba yun? Episode 20, no, this is episode 24, bro. So we're back. And do, bakit nga tayo nawala? Why has Convos been quiet for so long? <laughs> medyo, medyo quiet yung buong mundo eh. Walang makalabas eh. Where do we yeah. even start, bro? Diba? I think ever since lockdown started, everything and everyone went quiet in their own ways. Isolated yeah. talaga lahat eh. Yeah. Even That's... casual Zoom stuff, di natin nagagawa eh. Oh, nga eh. Diba? It's been wild. It's been so, one hell of a period, for sure. We were all still talking. Hindi lang tayo record. Yeah, True. That's for, sure. that's for sure. True. But True. yeah, now we... Hindi natin pinractice eh. Yeah. Now we gotta you know, share our dialogues and things with our friends oh, through this platform. So, Kaya, alam mo yung maganda dito sa ganitong platform, just thinking out loud is, it's easier now to invite people because we don't have the limitation of the commute. Yeah, that's real. Or logistics, kasi as long as you have a, a stable internet connection, you have Zoom on your laptop, pwede na kahit sino sumali dito eh. So I think this is a good start na din to, to expand the convo to, to other people. Pero syempre, we have to, <laughs> we have to re-establish the conversations amongst ourselves, di ba? Definitely. Yeah. This is the future of Convos until 2022. Damn, two years? Yeah, oh, naman. I miss it. 2021. <laughs> tiwala, right, na, right. tiwala. But I guess, yun yung magandang start off point natin for this round. Kasi it's been four months, like we mentioned earlier, it's been four months since we got locked down in Manila. Right now, extended na naman yung GCQ to the end of July. And we don't know what will happen after that. So... I think the number one challenge for us is how we've been adjusting the past four months, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the whole setup, like our whole routines were just brushed aside. We need to reinvent how we live our lives, basically starting from scratch and making do okay. with what we have. So probably it's, it's, it's also nice to, to catch up with each other to understand how we've been coping up with the whole lockdown. Yeah, but right? that'd be lovely. Because it... And I'm I'm pretty sure everyone has had their own approaches to to, to like how to pass the time, how to adjust to this new lifestyle, etc. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But <clears throat> so just curious to hear your thoughts as well. Like how have you been guys holding up? What have you been busy with? I don't know, Dom, Ikaw, you you live alone. So yeah. amongst the four of us you have the most unique setup. So so how have you been coping up with, with the lockdown? Well, just doing the usual, mostly on online, uh, YouTube, Netflix, PS4. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just you know, chilling. Yeah. Um, uh, adjusting to it wasn't that hard because it kind of feels like an extended break, you know, from the past years of. Uh, going to work every day, not having enough sleep. So this is actually a welcome thing for me. Um, although there are times that na nag- it's boring. As you said, I live alone, so I barely talk. <laughs> like, for, 
Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Puro chat lang and ganun. And um, yeah, just chilling, you know, that's what we do. Yo, just to you, you fly, Mar, you got it wrong, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm living by myself, too. What are the parents mo ngayon dyan? I mean, the, you know where they are. Ah, okay. 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 So, ikaw naman, Bert. Now that you've clarified that point, how do you cope up with, with the whole quarantine setup, living alone? To be honest, boys, like, in a way, I'm comfortable with, like, being with myself because I do find solace in it. But in the context of this period, it's, the vibe's just different. Like, I've been extra reflective during the whole time. Like, in terms of what are, like, the necessary stuff that I have to, like, deal with, like, move forward. Like, the essentials, kuno. Na, ano yung dapat kong, like, pag-concentrate on talaga. Kasi, this whole period was incredibly humbling in a way. Because I had to, like, strip myself down and just be... Just be honest with it. Like, okay, these are the things that you'd have to like delete or whatnot or think that might not be needed naman talaga. So like I had to like really acknowledge it that I had to like give up to simplify my life. So yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but that's written. But, bro, I could consider myself like as a homebody. So at the end of the day, like, I would just, like, do me and just, like, read, write, work out at home. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all have our needs to just stay sane. So, I suppose that's, yeah. that's one of my main things to just, like, keep it afloat. Just, yeah, just those things. Reading, writing, and just, like, working out, I guess. Yeah. Being a <laughs> shit. Yeah. And interesting, because like, you mentioned that you could pass off as a homebody. But for you, Mugs, I think with, with the current... A homebody. Like, okay. you're, you're comfortable staying at home. Yeah. Um, you, you, you feel like you know, everything that you need to do yeah. is just yeah. there. So, so you're, 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 you don't find it difficult to adjust to that kind of environment. But it brings me to the point that on your end, naman, Mugs, especially with what happened like with your gig the start of the year, you became an instructor. So, right, Drev? So, yep. it's the complete opposite. Right? It's, a really, it's a really social activity. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And then, all of a sudden, it's So So, how have you been dealing with that? Because we don't have choice. Eh. Yeah, man. Well, I'll jump off. I'll try to make this quick. I'll jump off from what Bert said. You about being... Uh, it humbled you, Bert, you mentioned. Yeah, Actually, but... that's true. Because I remember, man. I remember just quick when... When start of the year things were going well things were going really really well um Mm -hmm. i was i was in the industry that i wanted to be in and i was really putting all my time into it when i actually got into what i wanted to get into you know it came to the point where i don't want to get all religious about it but it came to the point where i was saying good job miguel good job Mm. good job that that was all you that was Mm -hmm. all you did that it came to a point where I was starting to think like that because I really, I really trained hard to get into like what I wanted to get into. Yeah. Like, but... mm. And then what made me realize is when COVID started is, shit, man, God can take away everything just like that. Ooh. No, yeah. wait, it's true. That's yeah. what. That's what. It yeah. Made me that's what it made me realize. Na parang. Hello. Hello. Yeah. It wasn't even a gradual stop. It was literally you trained so hard to get something that you want. And then after one day, it's gone completely. Yeah. Man. It's like gone. So, ako, that's, that was very humbling for me. Where mm-hmm. it, okay, okay, from now on, if ever I feel good about myself, I should always know na parang, yeah, feel good about it now, be thankful. But know that at any time, it can be taken away. Like easy. Well, great point. That's... Yeah, um, yeah, okay. in terms of how I'm coping with it, like what you brought up is, it's it's hard, Barry, because you I had to in a way, 
switch up all of my goals, like all of my plans for the year. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think one of my best ways on how I cope with it is looking for things we can control. Mm. Okay. I think it's very important. Um, we don't know how long COVID will last. We don't know. For some of us, our careers are uncertain. Diba? Some of yeah. us, it's the case. So I think what, what uh, will keep us at ease is finding things you can control. For me, things I can control is honestly nutrition, your workouts. Mm. It's about you, the what you study. I'm studying now. What you study, what you read about, what you watch about. These are things that you can control. So at least it gives you a sense of like you're not that lost in a way. So that's yeah. what I'm, that's I'm real, trying. Yeah. To with, and and and, with and to be honest, nga, like. That's that's one of the things I also realized because of the whole lockdown. Uh, like what Bert mentioned earlier, the moment you're stripped of all the essentials, or the moment you're put in a certain spot, na eto lang yung meron ka. That's when you realize what you should keep and what you should throw away. Yeah. And then with what you have left, you have to understand nga rin, like what you mentioned, Mags. What are the things that you can actually control? Because it's it's different. Na for example, COVID. Definitely, it's something we can't control, like the whole pandemic spreading or the whole the, the whole impact of it on us. There are only certain things we can control, and with that brings anxiety, de ba? Because yeah. we're anxious about things that we cannot predict. Eh? So that's why you try to find sense in the things that you can still manage, so that you don't feel like everything is, yeah. you know, spiraling out of control. Which is a good point, but I think. Mark, the, 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 bro, yeah. I have to ask you this, bro. I have to throw it back at you. I mean, uh, us four, in terms of your professional life, you're the one who, like, leaves the country. You just, you know what I mean? True. Direct opposite, pre. Sovereign direct opposite. Yeah, That's what's happening now. Like, how are you coping Me, on your side? To be honest, I'm a bit thankful full in a way na I was looking forward to staying at home for a prolonged time. Mm. Kasi the challenge with my line of work is you can't build a routine. Mm. So yeah. now that now that I'm forced to stay at home, ngayon ako nakahanap ng way to actually build a routine for myself. Like for example, with with my with my health, with my nutrition, because wala akong ibang pupuntahan, I realized na okay, wala na talagang excuse. Everything is in my hands now. Mm. So, I have to make it a point na I, I, I manage my lifestyle na. Kasi there are so many barriers that were removed from it. Eh. Diba? So, it's also a good thing kasi, of course, I can spend more time with my mom at home. So, it was a welcome change, but at the same time, it was a very drastic change. Just to like, like put this out there, like now that we've shared these POVs from all our sides, like just imagine like for the others, we just really got hit with this, like financially, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can definitely say that we're still blessed with how things are right now. Yeah. At the same time, just imagine for like how, like how, how things are for the people who got laid off. Yeah, bro. Hella humbling. Like this time, uh, been, yeah, yeah. Alamo, that's one thing that really uh, got everyone's attention. I mean, the, from yeah. one effect of this pandemic, which is you really see how poor we are as a country. Oof. Like a lot of people were already struggling. Uh, financially before all of this and now even more like it's so it's so normal these days to see a photo on facebook of this person who needs help because he lost his job or is not making money anymore so sad yeah. at the same time and during this whole period like all the bullshit's going out like you know what i mean uh -huh. I mean, our government, for one. I mean, everyone knows that. Like for us Filipinos, like, like things have become yeah. clownish, like real. Oh, no, man. And that, that that's gonna be another thirty-minute conversation, or even an hour, if we start going down that path. But I think 
right now just building off you know in our individual situations ang isa ring na realize ko is there are things we start to understand about ourselves because this is the most time we've spent being more introspective kasi yeah. we are the, sino pa ba kausap natin aside from the family we have at home if we have people at home sarili na lang natin eh we're left yep. with our own thoughts eh so like for for anyone who wants to jump in to this question first like what has what was one big realization that you had about yourself in the past four months of the lockdown oh man That's one hell of a question like top of like top of mind what okay. what thing did you realize about yourself basically for me man like it made me realize uh uh obviously i'm not where i want to be in terms mm-hmm. of career yeah because it this made me realize na para holy shit like if everything stops even my shit stops and that's not a good thing i mm-hmm. want to be able to have something where even if everything else stops you're still confident to make it run so that your family can live that's my goal you get what i mean so mm. you know, this this showed that what i was doing it was still very much dependent on the system of our country like if the entire country stops running and then for some reason you can't make money anymore i think that's, that's a problem mm. yeah that's a problem yeah. good point so that, that's what I realize so yun. I I need to work on that. Yeah, true. What about you, Dom? Ako about myself, I couldn't think of anything now, but like in general, one thing that I that I really pondered on was that we we, we really have to help each other. Like whether uh, helping out as in physical tulong or mental help because as bert mentioned earlier we could consider ourselves blessed to still be able to you know eat every day yeah to mm-hmm. eat every day but not everyone has that privilege i think this is also a wake up call na we you know as people who are privileged to have these blessings at a very difficult time kailangan natin tumulong to those yeah. who don't have Diba? I mean, kawawa, okay. if, I'm, if, you, if we put ourselves in their shoes, um, ang hirap nun. Like, I don't know how I would survive if I didn't have everything I have now. So I think we only owe it to ourselves. And God. <laughs> um, That's a real shit, though. That's a real shit. I'm not being self-righteous, ah. Sinasabi ko lang, nakakaawa. Ah, no, that's true. That's true. That's true. Line? Have you seen in the news? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um it's actually rather simpler with Max in terms of like it was really a wake up call for me too to just like really check myself in terms of like how I could just achieve longevity with like the things I want to do. So like now I'm more aware of the things I have to build like on the financial side of things. Because at the end of the day, nothing could really like, like, roll or get moving without like. I mean, I need a steady source of income. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. then this period like highlighted that. Like, in a way, yo, we gotta stay consistent with getting that bag, bro. Not not trying to be shallow, but it's more of us looking out for ourselves looking out for our families looking out for our future too i'm a mm-hmm. little conscious on on that part of my life like shit not yeah i mean not trying to be shallow though but gotta get that back <laughs> kailan natin kumain eh kailan um, natin isipin mo na lang like million ngayon yung nawalan ng trabaho yeah you'd be you'd be lying if you if you said that money was no object or money isn't the priority Yeah. Be lying. yeah. Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm super giving props to like people who are, who are flexing their entrepreneurial skills like online nowadays, especially in this period. Yeah. And in a way, it takes humility to just like, yo, I mean, I got earn money, so let me just like do this side gig, side gig, like this hustle. At the end of the day, like, 
I won't take that against you ever. Like, you oh, know, man. Like, yeah. Wake you up need up. to survive, eh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yun nga, eh, basically, you can't take anything for granted. Eh. That, that's what yeah. I got from what everyone just shared. Because yeah. in the same way that anything can be taken from you at any point in time, you have to mm-hmm. be prepared when that time comes. Mm-hmm. Regardless of whether or not it actually comes. Because at least, diba, if, if it doesn't come, there's an extra nakatabi. If it does come, at least you're prepared until you're able to recover. But essentially, yeah. you can't take anything for granted. No one could have predicted that this would have happened. Like, I don't know. Uh, wild! Wala! Wala! <laughs> like, I, diba? Bro, December, December 31, 2019, everyone's mood was... 2020, new decade, it's gonna be my year. As in, kasi, di ba, 2020 has a good ring to it. Yeah. So everyone, yeah. 2020 vision. Yeah. Yan lang naman palagi. Yeah, that's some real shit. Yo, um, Mag, so, Mags needs to go. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Just continue. I'll uh, just go. You, before you go, buddy, like, what's one thing you just want to, like, share moving forward? You know what I mean? During the school this whole pandemic, this whole situation. No, man, it's, I mean, um, I think one of the things, uh, Dom was the one who mentioned it about helping others. This is one way of helping each other right now. Like just having, yep. just having like a place where we can talk. And this is cool. So I think if, oh. if you're watching this, if anyone is watching it, again, point is, this is the time where... I think everyone might be struggling with some mental issues or no, I don't want to say mental issues or like some real, mental some real shit though. Whatever, because you're all alone and then anxiety might be building up. Yeah. So yeah, again, this is a good practice that we're having. At least we're we're just a bunch of friends like talking, that's it. And then it, it's it's just therapy for all of us. So yeah. it's a good True. practice. Yeah, anything on that note, we can also wrap this up like as, as a nice kickoff session to, to getting back Welcome, on those then. So <clears throat> probably next time, yeah, yeah. yeah, to anyone who's watching, just let us know what are the things that you'd like us to talk about or if you want to join um, next time as well, we'll find a way to, to make it happen. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, it was helpful for us. Hopefully it's helpful for you who's watching. So yeah, we'll catch you in the next one again. Thanks guys. Lovely.